Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. My name is Daniel, and uh, I bought the Farberware uh, Complete Countertop uh, Dishwasher. And uh, I made this video several months ago. You can check that out if you'd like to just see the unboxing, the overview of it. Uh, and then I made a second video where uh, I talked through uh, the actual different settings and what that looks like uh, for you if you're looking into the capabilities uh, of this dishwasher. And uh, now in today's video, I just want to go ahead and share with you uh, the faucet hookup uh, that you can get connected to your dishwasher and simply being able to turn on your faucet, uh, having a couple other parts that you can find on Amazon as well, and being able to set it up to the point where uh, you simply, when it's time for you to do a load, just simply flip on the cold water, the hot water, whatever you're going to do, and uh, be able to actually uh, not have to pour anything, not have to scoop anything, not have to wait a whole long time. Uh, it's going to simply go from your faucet straight to your dishwasher. And so we'll go ahead and get right into the video. So the first thing you're going to need to know uh, about this setup is that this is a three quarter inch hose, uh, these fitting. So being able to get this hooked up to your washer uh, is going to be a little bit more complicated. Uh, my faucet is a half inch. Uh, that's going to be the thread that it's going to take to be able to get it from there to there. So we have to have an adapter. Uh, the adapter that I have uh, that I went to, I believe is Lowe's, and I purchased for a couple of dollars. Uh, it is a three-fourths male to a half female. So what this does is it, it allows us to be able to, to go into the three, three-fourths uh, three-quarter inch right here uh, into the hose so this would go uh, be towards your faucet and then the other side it's got the 90 degree angle it would go to the back of your washer so so being able to get this reduced down to a half is the first thing one of the things that I did uh, when I first tried to figure this out on my own uh, my you know first trial by fire hopefully uh, you don't have to go through this headache but uh, I found three-quarter inch for a water hose. Now the threads are different uh, from a regular uh, piping type of, uh, of reducer versus a water hose thread. So the threads are different. They will not work. It will not match. Uh, so you have to get this certain type of one. I'll put that in the link down below. But uh, this is the reducer that you're going to need uh, to be able to get this hooked up uh, from your water line uh, at the faucet and be able to get that connected. So next, uh, if you're like me at all, you're not going to want to have to screw this on and off every single time you have a load. Uh, you're essentially just wasting your time even more. Uh, you're going to have to be unscrewing it, screwing it back on. Uh, if you don't get it tight every single time, you're going to have water shooting out on the sides, and uh, it's just not worth it. So what I did to solve this problem was I bought this splitter. Now, uh, what this does, there's a little lever here that goes down, and then it goes up like that. Down and then up like that. So when it's in the down position, that means the water from the faucet comes straight down, straight through there. It's gonna be like you're using your, your faucet just like normal. Uh, now if you pull it up, that's going to direct the water to go out this way. Now what I've done, this is another uh, half, so it's half coming through the faucet from the top, and then it's gonna go half out to the left. So what you can do to make this a more permanent setup is uh, once this is secured to the actual faucet. Uh, I then got some, uh, some thread tape to go around here to make sure there's no leaks. And then from there, uh, simply just screw this on to the side. It'll go all the way on. You're not gonna have any leaks. And then the beauty of this whole setup is, is that you don't have to unscrew or screw anything in the future. You're simply just gonna go like this, put it up, put it down. And so I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that for you, showing you uh, how to get that all hooked up and uh, show how that process works for you. So if you've been doing what I've had to do is just simply pour water into the top, uh, whether I've got the uh, sprayer on the side, I can just pull it out of the whole thing over to the top or have to get an actual uh, little bucket or something to pour water into the top of that reservoir. Uh, now uh, we are able to actually get this to the point where you just flip that switch, turn on the faucet and no splashes, no water. So if you're wanting to take this to the next level, uh, getting this all hooked up and you don't want to have to go through the hassle of figuring out how to get to the faucet. Uh, I'm going to have all the links down in the description below uh, to where you can just buy it off Amazon real quick and uh, get this set up done very quickly. And you're going to be on your way 
to making this even more of a convenient process in uh, the process of getting your dishes washed. All right, so the first thing, we're just going to simply uh, open up this backside uh, to be able to allow the water to come through. Uh, so just putting the plastic part on top for now, uh, taking off the tape, and then we're going to go ahead and grab the hose for the backside. So again, we're going to be using the side uh, that has the 90 uh, degree turn on here to be able to get better access to this. Uh, so I'm gonna actually going to go underneath and be able to just spin it on there real quick here. And uh, make sure you don't go too, too tight. Uh, make sure it's got a good seal. It's not going to budge. But uh, it all is plastic. So if you bust one part of it off, uh, you're probably not going to be using this feature uh, in the future. So be very careful with that. Make sure it is secure and tight. It's not going to be loose. And then uh, we'll be good to go. So now I'm just going to simply push this back into place uh, where I had it before, uh, right next to my sink here. I'm going to uh, carefully move this around and uh, get this set up. All right, so as you can see now, I've got the faucet ready to go here. I've got my water line, and then I've got my water return line that I've always had coming over to my sink here. Uh, I, uh, I found that this, this part here it really hasn't done much good. Uh, so for me, the simplest way is just to lay it down inside here, and it uh, gets the water cleaned out of there no problem and it's not that big of a hectic thing if it if it really came down to it, I just put it up here and uh, fold it up there but uh, not too bad of a problem so uh, next just take off your current uh, faucet tip and uh, mine has quite I don't know if you can see this but has quite a bit of junk in there I don't even know what that is I'm sure there's some type of filter there but uh, that looks like it's ready to be replaced uh, anyway so so we're going to go ahead and replace this uh, with this splitter part that we've already talked through. Uh, I'll be just getting this uh, tightened up here again. Uh, this is metal on metal, so uh, try to get as close to it as you can. Make sure that the rubber little gasket that's inside, uh, that that is level, that it's not uh, going to be uh, messed up at all uh, or pinched uh, to make sure you don't have any leaks. So I'm just kind of twisting it around, getting it finger tight. Uh, as much as I can without uh, kind of uh, really cranking it over too much. And uh, we'll go ahead and test it out real quick. There. And then <laughs> I'm not going to go full blast, but uh, just to be able to show you the difference, what it does when we flip this, uh, flip this little lever, it's going to start shooting out the side. And so that's, that's the purpose of this whole thing. That's the beauty of it, is this thing, when you turn this, it slowly cuts off the water to the going uh, out the regular way, and then it transfers it to going out here. Uh, so that's the real beauty of this. So next, we're going to go ahead and put our new uh, part on here that goes to the side here. Uh, again, putting, uh, putting this actual tape on here, I'll put that in the link as well. But uh, being able to get this around here to make sure that there's no seals on here, because it is metal to metal, and uh, being able to get this put on correctly, spin it on there and easily I get it as tight as I can, as close as I can uh, to where it's got the best seal. And then it's, it's on there fairly tight. Don't need to really crank down too hard or anything. This whole thing can, can move around a little bit. You might loosen it up just a hair so that it doesn't rub uh, from the faucet to the original uh, setup here. But uh, being able to pivot this whole thing any direction you want uh, and not unloosen uh, the actual faucet part. So uh, go ahead and put that right there and then simply and Obviously you can set this up however you have it, but just for illustrating purposes here uh, Just going to be showing this part uh, where I'm actually connecting it to the uh, water line to the uh, dishwasher Getting this cranked on there So plastic on metal just be careful. You don't strip anything out uh, crack anything on this side of it. Uh, it's very easy to test it. Don't overdo it. Uh, you can always tighten it up later. So, so this will be our first test, being able to show uh, where we have the faucet on, water's coming out here. We flip this little lever, and then the water is going to be going through the water line all the way into the reservoir in the back. Uh, so we'll go ahead and show you that. All right, guys. So again, we've got the water line hooked up to the back of the uh, dishwasher here. We've got this all hooked up. It's in the down position. Uh, obviously, water's flowing through it. 
And uh, the reservoir is currently empty. I just did a load of dishes uh, not too long ago here. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this switch and uh, you're gonna hear kind of a different change. Uh, at least I'll be able to and uh, be able to watch the water stop coming through here and then be able to hear it going through this line to be able to go into the dishwasher. And then we're gonna listen and wait. Uh, if you remember from the first video talking through uh, when you do fill up the reservoir, it will beep and let you know, hey, I've hit my fill mark and uh, you can stop filling me up now. So we'll go ahead and do that. So as you can see, it's just got a little bit of a drip uh, right here. We'll just tighten that up right there. And then uh, it is circulating the water through this line. So as you go to fill this up, just remember to hit the power button and then the start button. That's going to start the process of actually filling this up. Uh, the uh, little water signature will be there uh, with the actual spigot there showing, hey, I need water, help me, and uh, give me water so I can start this cycle. So you can kind of hear that, the water slowing, slowly filling up. It just kind of reached almost the top here. We'll hear the beeping here uh, relatively soon. And then there it is. So along with that, so once it's hit its mark, uh, the water faucet uh, light is gone. The cycle has started and you can eventually just turn off the faucet here, go back to the regular side and you've got water. So uh, depending on your setup, I've got mine to the left of my uh, whole sink here. What I would just do is simply put it towards the back here. You can probably just even zip tie this if you wanted to make it look even better, but uh, literally just simply run the line from here all the way across and then back there with this shoved in the back there. You know, you'll be able to simply clean this up, uh, twisting this in the back there or coiling it up to a point where you can actually do that. But uh, this is the process of getting the faucet uh, hookup prepared and ready to go uh, for this system. And uh, probably for any of these ones that have a reservoir or a line uh, that you need to hook up, just make sure, again, the three-fourths to the one half uh, don't get the water uh, like a water hose three quarters it's a different set of threads uh, make sure you get the one that's in the link below uh, they can get that properly hooked up for you so one small thing that I did want to just clarify uh, just so you know uh, when you have uh, the the line hooked up and you get the faucet on uh, and you if you were to try to uh, have this on and uh, if you were afraid of this uh, actually shutting down and not <clears throat> so one thing uh, that you may have a question about is, uh, as you kind of saw, so one thing you might have a question about uh, is the water inlet. Uh, you. So one question you might have on this whole process of filling it up from the simple faucet uh, is how does the water uh, start getting filled up and how does it know when to stop? You know, if you left your faucet on and the water kept going and going, and if you walked away, would it just simply come out of here uh, being completely overfilled? And the fact is, is that it, it will not do that. Uh, it clicks on and then it kicks off. When we hear that, uh, the, the beeping noise, uh, that shuts off the inlet itself, uh, so you will not be overflowing your reservoir. So that's a safety feature about this unit uh, that you will not have to worry about uh, if you have the faucet on. Just simply remember to come back, eventually <laughs> turn off the water, and uh, switch it back to the other uh, inlet, and then be able to use it that way. Uh, but that is uh, just one of the features this has uh, on the starting and stopping, uh, filling up the inlet from the faucet. So with all that being said, guys, hopefully you're having a great day today. And let me know down in the comments below, uh, are you planning on actually getting this faucet hooked up uh, the right way? Uh, have, you, have you already tried? Have you already failed and got the, that wrong thread that's for the three quarters uh, like I did? Uh, just let me know down in the comments below and just stay tuned for more content. Uh, I'm just going around my house. I'm a new homeowner and just finding these great products that can be a great convenience to me uh, as I'm, I'm a single guy just trying to find out 
uh, what I can do around the house to uh, be more productive. So have a great day and God bless.